In the Harvey Norman Lounge, we are joined by the always glowing Trudy Brewer, who is here with beauty products that deliver instant results. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we morning, like that. Trudy. Morning. Good morning. Well said. I couldn't say that. Sexy. Sexy skewers. <laughs> so we are going to talk about balms. What's a balm? Uh, okay, we are going to talk about balms, and they're everywhere on beauty counters at the moment. A balm is a thicker, heavier um, combination of whipped oil as opposed to water and okay. moisture whipped, or lotion. Whipped oil. So how does that differ from a cream? Okay, a cream is generally about 75% water and other ingredients that go into that. And often it's oil as well, whereas a balm is generally just oil, which means two reasons um, that it's good for your skin. Is one, it doesn't really need a lot of preservatives to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it instantly hydrates because it melts onto your skin and your skin just soaks it up because oil attracts oil in the skin. So your oil, your skin it makes its own oil and it actually likes the oil that it's getting from a balm. Mm, interesting. So That's what, super clever. What are they actually designed to do though? Um, really generally for drier skin. So they're very healing and while they hydrate, I guess the benefit for them is from them is that they heal as well and they repair. And quite often um, you'll look at your skin and you'll think you just look a little bit tired today or your Cute. skin is just a little bit, you know, not quite the way it should look or a little bit red. So a balm will instantly heal anything that's going on in your skin that could be causing sensitivity or dryness or itchiness. And at this time of the year with allergies and things like that that people suffer from, mm. they're a, br a brilliant sort of um, addition to your beauty routine. So it's not just for, for tired skin, it's for so much more things, I had no it's, idea. It's for so many more things. Um, cuticles, you know, healing cuticles. Um, at this time of the year we're all starting to put our sandals on so the heels of your feet get really dry <laughs> so balms are really good for that you know and, and they do absorb really quickly if you've got an oily skin you need to probably be quite careful with the balm that mm -hmm. you choose but generally for normal to dry skin they're brilliant so who can use them anyone that's the great thing and actually there are balms now for your hair and we'll talk about that in, the, in a moment but um if you can imagine that they actually form a barrier on your skin to actually help trap the moisture in rather than letting it leak out during the day. So anyone that feels that they work in air conditioning or constantly on screens, I mean you can get some great eye balms now that actually help moisturise the eye area. Um, they're just a really great alternative to a cream or a lotion. I mean you can still use the cream or lotion yeah. but they're just a great addition. Oh nice yeah. and the word balm itself is something know, quite soothing quite about exotic, that. Um, let's start looking at what you've bought in there and so okay. what this one. Well look this is the latest and it just launched this week and it's from Dermalogica which is a salon only brand and it's called a pre cleanse balm and the reason I love it and beauty geeks love it is that it's a step zero in your beauty routine. So why do you need a step zero? It's quite thick so give it a good squeeze because it oh. does melt. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently we women and guys spend um, 20 seconds cleansing our skin. Oh, on a good yeah, that's okay. So that's not long enough, obviously. That's not long enough, especially if you're wearing infallible makeup, um, the dirt and pollution that your skin is is subjected to. Right, so that does so happen. So this sits oh, yeah. along their pre cleanse oil, so mm. it's that step before anything else. So you would this would actually, and you can see how quickly that's melted it's into beautiful. Your skin. It actually will suck all of that moisture, grime, and makeup off your skin, and then you can lightly cleanse, and it can all take 20 seconds, but you know that you're getting all of that grime off your skin. Okay, so this before anything else. Um, mm. And it's clever too because it forms a little biolipid on the skin. It's like a little membrane to trap the moisture in, like I was talking to you before. And it smells really, really Apricot nice. Apricot oil is what's the base to that. So it's you've got a lovely natural base to Okay, it. now tell me about this, this now, classic. we were talking about this before. I thought I couldn't not bring in Clarence Beauty Fresh Balm. This and is one of the first things I remember buying that was, that, you know, was when I was special. young, that was special. Yeah, mm. and you know, I mean, it's decades old, but it actually was ahead of its time. And it is a balm that hydrates. You can actually use it, put it on quite thickly, and it can be a mask. I remember that. Um, it pr it's a primer, so it preps your makeup. So it's a multi-purpose this balm, olive, witch hazel, vitamin E, you know, it is such a beautiful product and it's, I think, the he one of the heroes in the cleanse. And I always remember they said, pat it in, don't pat it rub in, it, don't make sure you pat it in. in. That's right. So what about this? Now, I'm a real stickler for lip balms and mm. I was talking to the makeup artist earlier about them. Um, a lot of people <laughs> use a petroleum-based lip balm and then they wonder why their lips are always dry and not right. feeling nourished. So anything that is a petrochemical or a petroleum-based balm will form a film over your lips to prevent moisture from absorbing. 
So I say with a beauty balm for your lips or a lip balm, <coughs> go as natural as you possibly can. And there are so many options now. Okay. That launched today from Osmosis, which is another salon brand, right. full of every type of oil you can imagine, cocoa, um, coconut, um, just it's absolutely gorgeous, beeswax. And then one of my faves, Burt's Bees, you know, ten, these are range from, you know, 9 to $12, these natural balms for your lips. Um, Burt's Bees, 100% beeswax and fruit oil so you can eat it. That's really good and it's also good because I do find myself with lip balms as I tend to lose them at yeah. the bottom of my back. The other thing is that you're ingesting those because mm. they're on your lips. So and let's I go as natural them. as we can on a lip balm. So um, what about the hairstyle and stuff? And hair, balms for the hair. Now these are designed to stop humidity. So this is a great one, also new from r Co. Park Avenue, I'm interestedly, I'm in, instantly I'm interested, Park Ave, um, <laughs> Park Avenue um, blowout balm, so that's a great blow dry balm, vitamin E, it's got pro vitamin B5 which is great for your um, hair and it actually locks in the moisture in your hair, it forms a shield so you don't get any frizz, so you just Ooh. use that like you would a blow dry nice. lotion. Nice, I've got so many balms all over I know, you're parts balmed of my up. Right now. That hand feels really for the Beauty Flash balm, beautiful. Oh thank you Trudy for coming in oh, with all those balms. Oh absolute pleasure. Really nice to have you. As always Trudy. Thank you. And Trudy has bought in five Dermalogica pre-cleanse balms valued at $75 each to give away. If you would like to win that go to our Facebook page right now to enter.